Good evening. Thanks for being here tonight with us. It's an honor. So tonight we're going to talk about letting go of the need to heal, to allow miracles. So what does this mean exactly, to let go of the need for healing? Because the mind gets obsessed with fixing things, that I need to fix this, that I need to fix this, I need to follow this person, to see this doctor, take this medicine, whatever it may be that's exterior focused, if you will, is that need for healing. And we put ourselves on these different obstacles, roller coasters, if you will, for healing, but we have to realize this is not about ignoring the body. Noticing when the body needs attention is important, that it's not normal to have pain, to have discomfort. So this is not about ignoring the body. It's to quiet the mind that is obsessing about healing, about fixing itself, and looking outside of itself to fix itself. Because we're taught to look outside of ourselves. The answer is out there someplace. I'll go see this doctor. I'll buy this program. I'll do these meditations. Whatever it may be, if it didn't come from this deeper essence within you, then is that really the right path for you? And most of us are not taking the time to tune in to see really what is the best path. Because if the mind is in pain, it wants that instant solution. Take this medicine, see this doctor, buy this program, whatever it may be. But you can tune in very quickly. And we're going to tune in very quickly tonight to relax the mind. Tonight's all about relaxing the mind to let go of all this busyness. Because the mind's always thinking about this, thinking about this, thinking about this, worried about that, stressed about this, worried about this, stressing more about this, what about the future? And the mind just keeps going on and on and on and on. And what does this do? It prevents you from hearing the wisdom of your own soul, remembering that we are soul inhabiting this body. So you have many changing bodies throughout your life. Your childhood body is not the same body you have now. So the one who doesn't change is your soul, your spirit. This is where we want to operate from. But we're never taught to operate this way in school and learning. We are just not taught to go beyond the mind. We're taught to figure things out. And this is not supportive. It creates a very active mind. The mind, the way the mind is supposed to work, if you will, is that the wisdom comes from within. The mind operates and, and takes those instructions like a computer. The soul is programmed the computer. The computer operates those steps. But the mind gets confused and say, oh, I have to give myself the instructions to execute. And this usually doesn't work out so well. So you can see the best doctors take the best medicine, buy the best programs. But if it didn't come from within you, the success is going to be limited because it's not your recipe. It's not your way. So tonight is all about finding your way by relaxing the mind and coming into your own light, your own wisdom, where there's nothing to figure out. Your spirit soul is not doing a guessing game. Oh, let's try this. Now let's go try this. Oh, now we're gonna go do this. No, it doesn't work this way. Your spirit soul has experienced everything because it is connected to all that is. You are one with the creator. And whatever that creator is for you is perfect. The source, the universe, God, whatever it may be, that is perfect. But you are an aspect of that. Ultimately, there is no separation in the deeper space. But we get hung up in this mind state of separation. You versus them, me versus the doctor, me and this, me and that, and it's all ultimately one. We're all interconnected. So we just need to tap into that connection, 
that has experienced all things over millions and millions and millions and billions of years. That there's nothing new under the sun is one of the expressions. And there really isn't. You're not a special case. It's not impossible. For you are spirit. You have created the universes. You have created the galaxies. You have created this home that you're in. This job, this income is all your creation. Even when it makes no sense, you are the creator of this reality. Everything comes from you and your belief systems and your thoughts. That you are still in spirit with a tiny aspect of you within the body. 99.9999% of you is in spirit. This small, small, tiny fraction is in this body. So we want to let go of the mind that thinks it knows it all. It knows the way. We want to let go of the mind. We want to relax it. We want to retrain the mind that it's not the mind's job to figure it out. Or how do I do this? Relax. Return home to spirit. The instructions are there. And for tonight's meditation, it will be a lot of relaxation. And just lots of energy coming forward tonight. Bring the doctors forward as well. Because even though we have dropped the body, if you will, our spirit remains. So all these doctors that have lived on earth are still here in the spiritual realms. And they have knowledge on how to correct the body. So why not utilize their help? You also have this ability that we all have this ability. We are the spirit soul. No one is greater or less than another. We are that. We are one with the one. So we need to stop disempowering ourselves by constantly looking outside of ourselves. When we're looking outside of ourselves, we are disempowering our own wisdom. And when you're in the mind, you're not here in the present moment. In the present moment is where your spirit soul resides. So when you're overthinking things, you've forgotten who you really are. But it isn't your fault. Don't judge yourself. Do not criticize. We are simply not taught and we don't remember that we are the spirit soul. Because no one is teaching us this. Everything is exterior. Buy this, do this, follow me, follow that person, do this routine, do that routine. None of this matters. We're simply here to remind you of your truth, that you are spirit soul, the creator and the creation. It is all one. And the mind is dictating your reality. If it's not to your liking, then what are the beliefs that are creating that reality? Where have you forgotten yourself, if you will? So just remember, this is not about ignoring the body. We want to observe when the body's discomfort, pain, that something is off. We just don't want to obsess about it. I need to heal. You just notice and you go within. And we will do this tonight. So we're just going to just simply just relax for the whole evening. There's nothing to figure out. That's not the mind's job. The mind's ultimate job is to enjoy life and take instructions from your spirit soul. It's this simple, but we're taught complexities, difficulties, formulas and routines that aren't originating from within our body. What is my way forward? And your way forward is unique to you. 
to realize you inhabit this body. You know it the best. You know exactly what it needs. When you get the mind relaxed, quiet, or at least a little less noisy, if you will, so you can hear that deeper essence, those nudges, that instinct, those feelings, and trust in yourself. This is also another major component is that we're, we're taught to distrust yourself, that we don't know what is best for us. Take this medicine, wear this. We're taught not to trust yourself, that we know what's best for you. Well, how can anyone possibly know what is best for you? Who could possibly know what are the best foods for you, the best beverages, the best exercises, the best hobbies? No one, only you can know that. And besides the healing of the body, healing can also be in relationships, careers, finances, whatever it may be. There's a 1,001 things that can be healed. And the only reason why it's not being healed is due to the mind being busy, not being relaxed, not hearing or intuiting the information within you. But we don't want to add any rules, restrictions, requirements, mental activity. There are no rules, there are no requirements. There's nothing that you have to remember. We just have to learn how to relax. Relax and stay present. Because the mind will have a, the mind has a skill, if you will, is that when you're trying to give up the mind from taking over control, the mind will make you fall asleep. This is the mind's defense mechanism. I don't wanna give up control. I wanna keep things exactly how they are. I don't care if you're in pain, you're suffering, it doesn't matter. I don't like change. This is the viewpoint of the mind. It does not like change. Change requires more energy. So the mind is always trying to conserve energy. So it keeps things the same. So just remember your mind does not care if you're in pain, you're suffering, you're miserable, life is horrible. Mind doesn't care. Is it familiar? Okay, let's keep it. Change is the hardest thing for the mind to accept. The mind doesn't like new ways forward. So let's just relax, deeply relax, letting it all go.